Matsushima Bay is a collection of more than 260 islands in Miyagi Prefecture. It comes with several temples, beautiful gardens, and memorial caves, and originally came to use as a military port, although these days it's mainly a famous sightseeing spot. You can take a boat ride around throughout all the little islands. This would be a nice place to have your own boat. Yeah, it would be. Do you want to do it? Get a boat. Let's get a boat. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. It's one of the three main big sites of Japan. Uh, one of the three ancient big sites of Japan. There's this one, Matsushima Bay. I think there's Miyajima. And then there's a chain of islands somewhere near Kyoto. Uh, I think this is the most beautiful. Have you been to all three? No. <laughs> But to two of them, though. Can you read it for us? Yeah, it says the nearest McDonald's from here. Is... <laughs> 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 I actually said. I mean, to be fair, if you're going to give directions to McDonald's, this is the way to do it. Fantastic Bay with 260 tiny islands with Charlotte and Japan. See the islands, and you can see Charlotte in real life. Because I just permanently sit here. <laughs> I like it that much. This is the vlogger squat. <laughs> Chris, you could start an exercise routine for vloggers. Practice, yeah. practice. Go. 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 Damn it, Chris! The current one, this one I think, was built in 1604 by the Temple Samurai. By a samurai? One of the most famous Japanese samurai warriors. I mean, warriors. As beautiful as the sea looks here, this bay is actually filled with sunken rocks that make navigation by outsiders difficult. Date Masamune, one of Japan's most famous samurai, saw the potential as a military port and built up the infrastructure around the area including rebuilding the nearby Buddhist temple Zuiganji. Zuiganji is one of Japan's national treasures. Unfortunately, the temple sustained major damage during the Tohoku tsunami, including the loss of 300 cedar trees. Part of the temple also includes caves built in the Kamakura period approximately 800 years ago, which were used for memorial services and to house the ashes of the deceased. A momiji bush? <laughs> you gotta check out the tree over here. Oh. It's like the best part of the whole place. Old tree. Ah. It's not 800 years old, but it's still quite impressive. Oh, geez. Well, if it's not 800 years old, then what's the point? I don't get excited unless it's a little thing. Something straight out of Fern Gully. <laughs> I said like something out of a fantasy movie. <laughs> wow.
The bay and temples are too large to fully explore in just a couple hours, so schedule the better part of a day here if you can. It's a beautiful and relaxing area, so if you're going to be in Miyagi, definitely add it to your list of places to go. Misconception number two. It's rude if you don't slurp your noodles, or slurping your noodles is a compliment to the chef. Neither of those are true. It took them, it took them years to build the islands. Um, they built these. It took them years, maybe 60 years, to put all the rocks in there. Like, one of the largest construction projects ever. Where did they get the rocks? Uh, from the mountains. They brought rocks from the mountains, brought rocks the mountains and put them in the bay. Put them in the bay. 60 years ago. Yeah. And then grew these trees on them. Yeah. Because they wanted to rejuvenate the economy. Okay. 